Lele, Malang. And then we have swamycin. So swamycin is it's an injectable solution. Um, you can actually get it from most of your um, farm supply store. You can get it from your any pet stores, and it's, it's used for most animals. So you, you can see in the front you have got things it shows you the animals that you can use it for so we have pigs goats sheep as well as cattle some of them now they have uh, ill issues as well as, uh, so if, if especially in summer which is kind of a rainy season you tend to have food rot you use swamycin i think you can also use teramycin um, in certain regions where you cannot get this um, so for me it's, it's usually this or teramycin or in some circumstances even it as well for, uh, for, the, for the treatment of, of, of uh, tick bone disease and then multiclosis so multiclosis this is multiclosis um, well, uh, these are scientific scientific names but you can uh, in layman's terms like us uh, who are not vets or medical students or doctors for that matter um, it's hepatitis uh, so yeah goats and sheep tend to have hepatitis as well uh, it's things like puppy kidney disease that you're vaccinating your animals against so it's it's kind of a, a useful uh, vaccine for a number of common diseases that can be detrimental to your head whether it's cattle or it's sheep or goats uh, and today we're gonna be using this for our vaccination um, and yeah stay tuned actually for multi you can use multi clauses you can also use multivax uh, multivax p plus uh depends on 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 your cost um um yeah your, your cost preferences so it's, it's kind of uh vaccines are kind of expensive uh actually let me let me check here how much multi clauses cost which I think is kind of like a, the more affordable a vaccine if you're going with that. So, what we cross is 100 mil tab. So, we have 100 mil, I also mentioned uh, 50 mil, and you can also get, if I'm not mistaken, uh, larger doses of, uh, of this motor vaccine. Uh, and it costs 156 rand for a 100 mil uh, bottle. So, we are looking at a, a dosage of 1 mil, 2 mils for, for most of our animals. It depends on the weight, obviously, of the animal. Um, so it's usually around one meal, two meal, because we're looking at 20, 20 kgs and less for our younger animals. We're looking at 30 kgs, and then for our larger animals, around 40, 50 kgs. So that's where we give the maximum dosage for for the bigger animals. Um, yeah. So let's get on with it, and I will be sharing with you guys the process. It's kind of a tedious process. <laughs>
make me your only one You choose it, don't lose it, don't let confuse it Only then you'll be gone Feel like, feel like You always have to keep the vaccine cold because so uh, of the active, it's an active vaccine. So there are some um, some uh, trace elements of the vaccine inside, um, which are like lab elements, just like how normal human vaccines work. So there are some trace elements of the vaccine that are still alive. And therefore, they need to be kept for, um, for activation in the in the body of the animal. That's why we keep this. them just to make sure that first of all we contain the disease that these animals um, have um, and then secondly we also make sure that they don't spread so currently what happens is um, when, whenever we have an animal that we suspect is not feeling well what we do is we isolate the animal 
and then we we, we inject um, with the antibacterial uh, solution so it could be teramycin it could be high tech, it could be swamycin uh, the one that I showed earlier and then we monitor it we make sure that we give it multi vitamins to support the immune system of this animal and then we also uh, make sure that uh, three times a day we are following up on the health of the animal within that confined space so it stays in a confined space where it doesn't interact with the other animals um, just to make sure that we don't allow the spread of this disease uh, to the rest of the head so let's go and inject these young ones.